members, please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart, together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that they I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church. And since without you, she cannot stand secure, may she be always governed by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman, the army commander of the king of Aram, was highly esteemed and respected by his master. For through him, the Lord had brought victory to Aram. But valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Arameans had captured in a raid on the land of Israel, a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet in Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram. I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman sent out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, and ten festal garments. To the king of Israel he brought the letter, which read, With this letter I am sending my servant Naaman to you, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, 
Am I a god with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note, you can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king. Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find out that there is a prophet in Israel. Nehemiah came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message. Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will heal, and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought that he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God, and would move his hand over the spot, and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the rivers of Damascus, the Abana, and the Parfar, better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleansed? With this, he turned about in anger and left. But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? All the more now, since he said to you, wash and be clean, should you do as he said. So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his whole retinue to the man of, to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I hope in the Lord. I trust in his word. With him there is kindness and plenteous redemption. Praise to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of this 
that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow and Serapath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which the town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are now in the third week of our Lenten journey. And as we continue together, a question of how do we appreciate or how do we appreciate other people or someone? And how do we interpret things that happen and as we experience them? It might be a good or bad. And there was a time, my brothers and sisters, when we experienced spiritual dryness. As the time that we could formulate a lot of questions in our minds. At a point when the doubts or doubt come in, our faith is primarily a question and affected. And this is directly all about to God. And this is a normal thing for some of us. Natila bagay, mga minamahal na kapatid, tayo ay sinusubok ng ating Panginoon. By this situation, we are denying the goodness of God in us. Parang hindi po natin nakikita ang kagandahang loob at mabuting gawa sa atin ng ating Panginoon. At sabi ko nga po, maraming tanong na nagkakaroon sa ating isipan o mga agam-agam sa mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na kung saan ito ay nauuwi sa panunumbat sa ating Panginoon. Parang may karapatan tayong manumbat sa ating Panginoon. At doon nagsisimula ang walang pagtitiwala o ang ating tiwala ay nawawala sa ating Panginoon. Mother, brothers and sisters, we have God who is ever ready to help us. Yes, our God is for all. Ang Diyos ay para sa lahat. God, my dear brothers and sisters, is not for exclusivity, but for inclusivity. We need to recognize His presence among us because He works within us. Our readings of today shows us that the power of God is for exclusivity. The power of God should be confined to the chosen people. This is the attitude of the people of Nazareth because Jesus told them about God who is likely to heal the sick outside Israel as He was to heal the sick inside the Israel. The God Jesus revealed did not have favorites. This news was not well received by those who had come to think of themselves as God's favorites or God's chosen. Mother, brothers, and sisters, Jesus is telling us today of a God who does not have favorites. More accurately, He reveals a God who favors all men and women. And, and in true Jesus, God favors, has come to the rest on us all. This is a cause for joy, 
not as was the case in Nazareth, a cause for anger. Mother brothers and sisters, calling is to reveal something of God's indiscrim indiscriminate favor to others. Our God has no favorites among us. He is equal for all of us. His love and concern is always go beyond the limits. That is why in our pilgrimage of our faith and this season of Lent, mother, brothers, and sisters, we need to keep our minds and our hearts alive that we have God not only for ourselves, but for all. Let us allow Jesus to shape our image of God as generous, inclusive, care, and love, rather than to be angry at the generous and expansive God that Jesus reveals to us. The spirit of Lenten season, mother, brothers, and sisters, we may experience truly by living and sharing in togetherness with unconditional love. God did not create for exclusivity purposes. Rather, create, God created and desires an exclusive community because the goodness go, goes beyond the limits. Wag po nating iisipin pag tayo nagdarasal, pag tayo lumalapit sa Diyos, nasa atin lang ang kapangyarihan at kabutihan ng Diyos. Ang Diyos ay nasa atin, ito'y pangkalahatan upang magkaroon ng katuparan na tayong lahat ay iisa sa ating paglalakbay at patungo sa ating pupuntahan. My dear brothers and sisters, don't create of our selves that we are only for God. We have only one God, that God is for all. Not for inclusive, but for inclusive. Ito po yung pinapalas sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Kung kailangan mo ang Diyos, kailangan din ng iba ang ating Diyos. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was rejected by His own people. In faith, we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, and we pray in His name. Lord, make us love as Jesus did. Lord, make us love as Jesus did. That the leaders of the church may proclaim the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us love as Jesus did. That Christian parents may be strengthened to follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us love as Jesus did. That our Lenten penance may make us more open to God's redeeming love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us love as Jesus did. That the sick who find life difficult may see God's presence through the care and concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make, make us love as Jesus did. That the dead who are in God's company may enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make, make us love as Jesus did. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Almighty Father, since none of us come to Jesus unless you draw us to him, make us all one with him, that we may be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness you have received, the bread you offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness you have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May what we offer you, O Lord, in token of our service, be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults. Raise up our minds and bestow both virtues and its rewards to Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore your powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices we pray join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you fought out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be God and to one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we are merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and you praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take Mercy. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you, should you enter under, under, my, under roof, my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Be the body and blood of Christ. It's the everlasting life. Amen. Thank you. 
Please stand. Let us pray. Make communion in this your sacrament. We pray, O Lord, bring it with purification in the unity that is your gift to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your right hand, we ask, O Lord, protect this people that makes entreat it to you, graciously purify them, and give them instruction that, finding solace in this life, they may reach the good things to come. To Christ our Lord. Amen. And Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.